Hey guys, I'm talking about DHT again today, and this is more of like an informative video and not a personal video about me using DHT or experiences or anything like that. Um, the reason why I want to make this video is because I've seen so many misconceptions about um, DHT and Andractim, Andractim, whatever, um, online, and people seem to be confusing it with testosterone gel and saying that you're not going to get the effects of testosterone and gels are less good than uh, or less effective than injections, I'm here to like bust every single myth because we need to talk about this. Also, I want to point out that all the information that I get about DHT, I've gotten it from my friend Skylar. Uh, his Tumblr is gendercube.tumblr.com. He makes some awesome information about different topics and his information about DHT is fantastic. So, what's the difference between androgel and andractin? Now, the first huge difference is the size. No, I'm kidding. This is a packet of androgel. What is androgel? Androgel is used as a hormone replacement therapy. It is exactly like an injectable testosterone, like delesterol, um, depotestosterone. I believe in the States you guys have something like that, and then Nibido in the UK, and there's all these different brands, okay? Those are all injectable, cool. Some people do it once every like 60 days, once every 30 days, uh, once a week, twice a week, once a month. Everybody does it differently depending on how their doctor prescribes it. Now, what androgel is, is the same thing. The only thing is that you apply it every single day. Now, the one that I have here contains five grams of gel. Now, the reason, I, I believe that there's like a really high percentage of testosterone in this is because when you put it on your arm, obviously not all of it gets, um, absorbed into your skin, so I guess the big difference between injections and androgel is that with injections it gets absorbed more, but you have less testosterone in your vial than I have in here in one day. So I mean, oh, not in one day, oh, you know what I'm saying, in a week. But anyways, so I don't like that there's like so many myths about androgel. I've been on androgel now for over a year and I was on injectables for like three and a half years and like look at this beard it's like it works like I'm not crazy the hair on my arms is still crazy now like I have all these weird patches in the back it's weird and I'll just say one thing really quickly about androgel if you're interested in getting it because you don't like needles it is really expensive if you don't have insurance I think it's like hundred and thirty two dollars or something for one month I have insurance through my school in Quebec so it's all free for me but I'm just letting you know that it's just a little expensive so now that we know what androgel is androgel is like the there's androgel I know there's testo gel and there's testim and i think that there's another one those are like all the popular gels they're like all the same uh, this is not sticky i know i know that testim in the uk is super sticky you have to like wear gloves on it um, this uh, you just put it on your hand and you put it on your arm or your stomach it feels like purell like hand sanitizer and uh, that's about it. It dries in like five minutes and then you're good. Just don't touch anybody for two hours and it's fine. So now we're done with androgel. We all know what androgel is. It's perfect. It's great. I'm on it. I have a beard. Next, we're going to talk about DHT. Trigger warning, I'm going to be talking about genitals and stuff like that and all that good stuff. So, andractin. Andractin is a gel that you put on your junk, only on your junk, to help it grow. Now, it's not going to work for everybody. Some people have a maximum growth that they already got from being on testosterone. Some didn't, so Andractin will help that. I've been told that I have a large growth, but I want to be bigger because I plan on getting metoidioplasty in a couple of years. So I'm trying this just to see if it'll help. If you don't know yet, I am actually making a blog where I track my progress and post pictures. It's dhtgrowth.tumblr.com. So if you wanted to take a look at that. You cannot use Andractin as testosterone. You can't order this and put it on your arm or put it anywhere in your body and use it as testosterone. Some people do. You're not gonna get the same effects as androgel or injectables. Um, and I'm telling you right now that because I'm on Andractin and I'm using it on my junk, I'm actually not doing Androgel every day. I'm only doing it five days a week because it does raise your testosterone levels and I, I don't do that. Androgel really levels out my emotion, my like, the way my levels and, um, which helps me level out my emotions because when I was on 0.35 of Delesterol injections, my, I was so angry and so anxiety it was horrible so i had to put 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 down i had to be put down but that that's not the point i'm just saying that um this is not the same at all as that if you want to get dht and you're interested in it i made a video there there um i know that uh, uh gender cube on his blog he talked about it a lot on how to get it i talked about how to get it um 
It's a controlled substance in the USA and Canada, so you need a prescription for it, and you need to order it from Cyprus. It's, I'm talking fast because I don't want this video to be super long, but yeah. So yeah, I don't know if I'm missing anything about these two things, Androgel and Andractim. Andractim, am I saying that right? I never can say it right. Whatever, if you have any questions about these two, please let me know. But please try not to confuse these because it's kind of like weird when people are like, gels don't work at all, I've tried it, and you just tried this and not this, or gels don't work at all, uh, you don't get the same effects. Look at this beard, I think it shows you the effects. Have a great week.